March of 2013, South Carolina made football history and launched a new tradition in the South. The first ever South Carolina College All-Star Bowl was played at North Greenville University. Game Commissioner Sam Weich, former Furman star and NFL Super Bowl coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. I think when David Wyatt, a local attorney here in Greenville, South Carolina, called me about this idea, uh, it reminded me of the beginnings of the Senior Bowl down in Mobile, Alabama. I was coming into pro football in those days. It was basically a game between Auburn and Alabama players, and then it has grown into a national game with lots of draw and agents wanting to get their players in that game. I see this, this game in South Carolina on the same track as that Senior Bowl in Mobile years ago. These South Carolina All-Stars, made up of 100 seniors, either from South Carolina or who played college football at one of the state's colleges or universities, represented 48 colleges and universities in 26 states from all over the country. Players were divided into upstate and low country squads and were coached by South Carolina Football Hall of Fame coaches Danny Ford, who led the Clemson Tigers to a national title in 1981, and South Carolina State legend Willie Jeffries, who during his 29 years of coaching spent 19 years with the Bulldogs. His program has turned out scores of football greats. In addition to providing an exciting afternoon of high-powered football for fans and supporters in the stadium, the game was carried live on a statewide television network, including parts of North Carolina and Georgia. The result? Nine game players received invitations to NFL camps or tryouts that may not have been possible without the All-Star Bowl. First year was terrific, way beyond my expectations of what was going to happen in terms of the people that showed up to watch the game, the players, the participation we got from so many schools. Last year, just schools in South Carolina or guys that had played high school in South Carolina and gone on to play somewhere else. But this year, we're going to include the Southeastern Conference, the Atlantic Coast Conference, Southern Conference. You have national appeal. And with national appeal comes a national television audience. The overwhelming success of the inaugural game generated interest and enthusiasm at all levels, including the NFL Network, Raycom Sports, and ESPN. In 2014, the game will be played on March 1st in the newly remodeled Furman University Stadium on their brand new state-of-the-art synthetic turf surface and is expected to be seen by a dramatically expanded regional television audience. Oh, these games are crucial to the final decisions that are made on draft day and on mock draft week prior to the draft. Scouts will all come in, they'll report on what they saw, comments that they uh, heard being made, conversations they had with the players. See, this gets very personal. The players get to meet them, the scouts get to see what they're really like, what their thoughts are about away from the game as well as on the field, what kind of a player and person they will represent their particular team in the National Football League, Canadian League, Arena Football, wherever they happen to land. So this is a crucial part of the, of the uh, program as the scouts put together their proposals as to who they pick and in what round. Because of the outstanding support by businesses in the area, the South Carolina College All-Star Bowl was able to donate thousands of dollars to the Upstate's Meals on Wheels program. If you're a sponsor for the South Carolina College All-Star Bowl, you are partnering with Meals on Wheels. Talk about a top brand, now a well-known, well-liked brand. You are partnering at the ground roots level, at the very beginning of this game, years from now when this game is just part of the springtime get ready for football environment, you'll be part of it. Your name will be mentioned with it. This is the time to become a part of it if you're a sponsor, a potential sponsor, working your budgets for next year. Don't forget this game because this is the time to get in inexpensively at this point for something that'll be really big one day. The expanded game, as well as multiple ancillary events held over coming months, create a variety of sponsorship opportunities for local and regional companies expanded regional broadcast coverage, game programs, an ongoing publicity and promotion schedule, stadium signage, and events. All of these, while hugely valuable, are only the tip of the iceberg for sponsoring companies. 
by leveraging their exclusive position as the title sponsor or as one of a limited number of presenting sponsors, companies are able to create any number of campaigns and promotions for customers, employees, and suppliers. Our marketing team will work with participating businesses to maximize exposure and benefits from their association with the South Carolina College All-Star Bowl. After it's all said and done, man, it's time to tighten up your shin straps, pull those pads tight, and let's get ready for some football.